So in this video, what we want to talk about are uh, basic operations with integers. Remember, integers are positive and negative whole numbers together with zero. So the first thing we really want to understand, and uh, let's just use sample problem number one to talk about this. Um, when you see this number here, this is an integer and it's got a negative sign. Remember with integers, you always have a magnitude and a direction. So the number itself, 34, gives us its magnitude or its distance away from zero. The sign gives us the direction. So negative 34 is 34 units to the left of zero. Whereas a number like 52, its magnitude is 52. And since there's no sign up here, it's positive. So 52 is 52 units to the right of zero. The reason I want to point this out is because things like addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication are called operations in mathematics. So there's a world of difference between a subtraction sign, which is an operation, and you need two numbers to perform that operation, and a negative sign, which belongs to a single number. And you really need to understand this in order to correctly do these problems on the TI-34. So if you, we look at our TI-34, you'll notice that there is a subtraction sign, and that's an operator, and all the operators here are in dark blue. So division, multiplication, subtraction, and addition. And then under the 3 button, you have this little, what looks like a subtraction sign, in parentheses. And that's your negative sign. So when you want to make a number negative, this is the button that you're going to push. The other thing I want to point out is that often in mathematics, they use parentheses around a number if it's negative. And that's just to make sure that you understand that it's a negative belonging to a 34 and not a subtraction sign. When you're using the TI-34, you can either choose to leave these parentheses in, or we can omit them. And uh, I'll show you what happens both ways. So first time through on problem number one, let's just go ahead and type it in exactly as it appears. So if I want that parenthesis, notice that there's a opening and a closing parenthesis right here. So I'll hit parenthesis. And then that's a negative 34. So I hit the negative button and then 34. And then I want to close that parenthesis, hit my addition sign, and then 52. So now if we look at our calculator screen, the problem looks exactly like it does on our sample problem right here. So let's hit enter. And it tells me that the answer is 18. Now if I didn't use these parentheses, if I just typed in negative 34 plus 52, negative 34 plus 52, enter. It still gives me the same answer. So whether you put those parentheses in or not is really up to you uh, with respect to these uh, basic integer problems. So let's just clear our screen now. Why is that button? Okay, so now we want to do 45 minus negative 73. And here we want to be very careful because we're going to be using both subtraction, which is an operator, and a negative, which is just the sign of a number. So we hit 45 minus, and then it's negative 73. So we use the negative button and then 73. Notice when we look in our calculator, it actually displays the subtraction sign as a much longer bar and the negative sign as a shorter bar, which is slightly above. And we hit enter, and it tells us that our answer is 118. In problem number three, it's a division of integers problem. And hopefully you know that a negative divided by a negative is positive. So our calculator should be reporting a positive answer for us. So we've got negative 350. And then we hit our division button. And then it's negative 25. Enter. And we get the answer of 14. 
Now let's just see what happens for a minute if instead of using the negative sign button for this negative 25, I accidentally use the subtraction button. So negative 350 divided by, and that's supposed to be a negative 25, but let me just hit the subtraction button here. Enter. It gives me, it says syntax error. Syntax is the way that the, the computer understands what you're writing. So when it says syntax error, it means there's an error in the way that you entered your problem. So then we'd have to go back and say, oh, that should be a negative sign, not a subtraction sign. And notice that I just typed my negative sign right over my subtraction sign. And you can just hit enter. And it gives us 14. All right. So now we've got negative 45. And then remember, the little dot means times. So it's times negative 9. Enter. And it gives us 405. Um, the one thing that I do want to point out is that with the multiplication operator in pre-algebra courses and algebra courses, we generally don't use the x to represent multiplication because x is often a variable. But on our calculator, it does give us an x for that operator. Remember that parentheses also mean multiplication. So I could type one or both of these numbers inside parentheses. So for instance, I could hit parenthesis, negative 45 parenthesis, and then times, so parenthesis, negative 9 parenthesis, enter. And it will give me the same answer.